Hey, poker people. Thank you so much for tuning in to a little Poker Tracker 4 tournament reporting video on YouTube. So today's video is going to be about finding preflop 2-bet hand strength by position from our opponents. So Theo is a viewer and he sent me an email with a, with a simple question on it. He had a report he was trying to build and he explained the report to me and showed me a couple screenshots. But in order to fully help him, I had to get a couple questions answered. So questions one and two there are questions I sent back in response to his email. Question one, how will you use the report you're looking for? His answer, I would like to have some stats about the strength of the hands players use to open and from which position. Question two, how will the information help your game or help you study hands better? And his answer, knowing the above info, I could know hands to play and which ones to re-raise. And I think this is a great idea, going through your opponents um, uh, within your database and seeing what hands they are actually opening with by position is really killer here. Uh, let's see here. And so here are the steps to creating this report that I'm about to show you right now. Whip out Poker Tracker 4 here. Okay, so we're in the Reports tab. And what we want to do is, of course, create a new report. All players report here. When you create this report, it's going to show you every single player that you have even one hand of history on. You can see there's a three, there's a two. I'm sure there's one somewhere here uh, that we've played against. It shows their name, chips one, and then the hands that we've played, the number of hands that we've played with them. What you want to do is we want to start to make this report just a little bit more user friendly for us. Oh, let's give it a name, by the way. It doesn't really matter right now, just anything hands played report. So we, like I said, we want to make it a little bit more user friendly. So we need to whittle this list down and, and we also need to know a little bit more about our opponents because the thing that Theo really wanted to know, know want to know which stats about hand strength the players used to open from which position. Well, if we think about just the cutoff, for example, loose aggressive players on the cutoff are going to be opening far wider than your loose passive fish as well as your nitty players, right? So we need to understand the type of players that we're up against in our games here. So we want to start by adding just two very simple stats. Oh, in the search, just type, type in the stat name and once it pops up, double click it it'll go to the far right column so now we know all those players v pips let's go ahead and add in pfr after putting this in now let's take a look at uh money for me 26 hands we knew he's a pretty loose aggressive player raises 19 percent of hands but plays 58 percent for calls for limbs for raisings for three bets all that stuff right he's very loose aggressive um, 14 and 4, 50 hands, pretty nitty player right here overall. Um, a bit passive, but mm, tight passive we can call him, not so nitty, tight passive. So now that we understand uh, these player, our, our player types that we're up against, we also need to whittle down this list because we just have way too many players at 2, 3, even 9 hands. We're not going to learn anything from them, really, because the reason why is because we don't fully trust the VPIP and PFR like he's a 6733. That's only three hands though. If he was this over a thousand hands, we know that he's a very loose aggressive player. But three hands is not good enough. So, like I said down here, add expression filters to whittle down the list. In this instance, we'll go hands greater than 50. So all these players with less than 50 are going to drop from our list. Oh, uh, click on filters, add new expression filters, and you'll hit insert right here. Go down. All the stats are listed alphabetically. So, H for hands, there we go, hit OK. Now we have this here, you want to click inside of there so that you have, so you can enter some information greater than 50. Now before you save, before you hit OK or anything, hit validate to make sure that it's, uh, that the expression works, that it will filter your list right there. And of course it says expression is valid. You want to hit OK, then you want to hit save. Would you like to change? Would you like to save the changes to the current filter? Yes, let's save it. So now this is up here. It's Our report is now being filtered by this expression filter. So hit OK. And now we can see, bam, nobody less than 50. We can even sort it by hands by clicking up here. Everyone's at 51 hands or greater. Now, 
as you're going through this, maybe when you look at this player's hands, he's only, because it's only 51, maybe he's only opened twice. And it's just maybe 50 hands isn't a good enough uh, expression filter. Maybe it should be greater than 100, greater than 200. Whatever the case, it doesn't matter. I mean, you could just change this kind of stuff as you go. I'm just using 50 to show you how this works. Now, let's find... Let's find a kind of a, a tight aggressive player, like somebody who's right around 2015 or so. Scrolling on down. Okay, Tw okay, cool. Right here, 98 hands, it's pretty good. Uh, oh, let's go Script Ninja. We have 200 hands on Script Ninja here. So, um, 200 hands on Script Ninja. He's a tight aggressive player and Script Ninja. So choose the player name and then go to the statistics tab Do a little search Ruski here. Script Ninja. Double click on it. Bam, now all of Script Ninja's hands come up. This is great, so we have 198 hands on the guy total. All of them are here by position. We can see how he plays all his various hands. But the thing is, what Theo wants to know is what players are two betting pre-flop with. So let's set uh, a simple filter. Preflop. So because we're looking at script ninjas, whatever we enter in here is going to filter that. So he makes any 2-bit here, add it to filter. But that's not exactly good enough because we aren't going to see, uh, or I mean, we're going to see every single hand that he 2-bit with preflop. But what we really want to know is what he is definitely 2-betting with pre. So we have to see showdown hands. Uh, yeah, so filter for preflop 2-bit with showdown. So preflop 2-bet, showdown. So now out of that 198 hands, we only have six hands to look at. But we've got to do this person by person or player by player. Look up all the tight aggressive players that we have in our database. You know, anywhere, anybody from like 18, 14 to maybe up to like 25, 20 or even 28, 20, something like that. Um, getting into the lag, but that's what we want to look at. And look at all those hands. And so what we can do here is we can see that he had king queen on the button. Great, maybe maybe Theo has a big list uh, that he's just marking off hands. In the MP, this player has raised with ace, queen, and king, queen. Great. EP, he's raised with ace, four, and queen, queen. And I guess he didn't have to show even though it went to showdown for whatever reason. Oh, because it's a winning network. It's an ACR hand, so that means he lost the hand but didn't have to show. Uh, yeah, so we know that from the EP, he opens ace four and queen queen. We can add all of those to like maybe a spreadsheet that we're keeping track of all tight aggressive players, what they open with by position. Let me go back to the report. We had, oh, because we had the filter, remove the filter. And then now we can scroll back down to anybody in the 20s or so. Look, here's another tight aggressive player, 86 hands. Another tight, mm, almost tight aggressive, but kind of tight passive, but tilt a whirl here. We can take a look at his. And so that's what I recommend to Theo and to everybody else. If you want to know what your opponents, oh, look at that, 500 hands. No, zero whammy. Let's look him up real quick. No whammy, 500 hands. Um, he's a 22-14, pretty tight aggressive. Let's run those uh, filters again real quick. Oh, So hands went to showdown and two bet preflop. Bam, we have 10 hands on this guy now. We see from the button, king jack, ace eight off, ace four. Pocket fours, tens, pocket uh, king queen in the cutoff right there. So this is what I recommend to you, Theo, and to everybody else. If you want to know what your opponents are opening with and to see them pretty pretty quickly, it does take some going back and forth and stuff, but it's totally worth doing if what you want to do is create ranges to defend or to play against these two-bet openers ranges. Alrighty, good luck, y'all, and have some fun uh, working through the reports and the statistics in Poker Tracker 4. Take care.